Hey, what up? This is your boy, the Solo Traveler RD. Thanks again for checking out another one of my videos. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and hit that bell while you are here. Back with another video. So basically, I want to give you guys a video about two articles that I have. First article is about the new way um, TSA is actually changing up the way um, to scan your boarding passes and things like that. Um, as well as I have another article about Mexico being extremely upset the fact that Americans are coming over there. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So the first thing I want to talk about is <clears throat> is basically the no boarding pass needed. TSA is dramatically basically they're changing the way that they're screening people um, whenever you go from one destination to another. So basically, I've actually experienced this when I was in Fort Lauderdale at one point. I actually um, went to Fort. I actually had to fly over, or I'm sorry, lay over in Fort Lauderdale to go to Dominican Republic. And basically, right before I boarded the plane, they actually had like some type of screen, and basically they identified me just from my face, and basically they knew exactly where I was going to sit at and so forth. And that kind of threw me threw me off. At first, I was like, "Yo, this is nice. I like to see how technology is evolving." But also at the same time, I looked at it at the fact that, oh my God, <laughs> if I do something. I'm screwed because they have all my information. So <laughs> not that I'm gonna do something, but it's still something to think about. Like, you know, start thinking, you know, of the future. Like, I don't know if you guys ever watched the movie, like Minority Report. You know, so it's like everybody's watching, they're in your business and they know exactly how to find you and so forth. So, <clears throat> but like I said, not that I'm not gonna do anything, but you know, it's still kind of scary the fact that they can see, you know, all of that stuff. And of course, I know you guys are gonna jump on here and say they have your information already, your social security number, government, and everything else, which is true, which is true. But you know, I still, it's still just kind of scary just to see it right there in front of you. But Nonetheless, let's go into the first article. Let's take a look to see what's going on with this. So it says right here, um, this is actually coming from the point, the points guy. <clears throat> I actually frequently their their um, their article from, from time to time, and also one of my subscribers actually sent this to me. Uh, I gotta give a shout out to him. You know, thanks so much. You know who you are. I don't know if you want me to send your name on here, but and I appreciate you for sending this over to me. So the title says, no boarding pass needed, TSA dramatically expands new airport screening system. It says, you may get a pleasant surprise on your next trip when you arrive at your local transportation security administrative checkpoint. No boarding pass is required. At a rapid expansion number of airports, the TSA staff is using the credential authentication technology system to scan your driver's license or other government, government identification. The system authenticates the identifications, confirms the flight reservation associated with your ID, checks for your check for pre-screening status such as TSA pre-check, and cross-reference is with security alerts. <clears throat> it does all of this without you needing to present your boarding pass. <clears throat> During the past three years, the TSA has installed more than 1,600 CAT units and 175 airports, according to the TSA spokesperson, Lori. The number of airports using the system has grown nearly 50% of the number of TSA reports just last year. The time saved by passengers not having to fumble with, with phone screens, um, search pockets for, for paper boarding pass, should increase the speed of, of screening and reduce the time spent standing in, in TSA lines. On a crowded day, the new system could save you 10 to 15 minutes of wait time. To help understand the new system and how it can affect your, your next airport visit, TPG reviewed details of the of the updated screening process and looked at the system implementation at U.S. airports. <clears throat> so you can go ahead and download the free TPG app and, and you can see all of that information that they have given you guys. But I'm not going to continue reading the rest of this article. You guys could check out the article. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave it at the I'm gonna leave it pinned at the bottom in the in the um in the description section so you guys can take a look at that. So you know leave a uh, leave a t down down in the comments below if you guys actually are happy about this or leave it n if you guys are not happy about this you know so next up is the next article this one is actually pretty funny <clears throat> at this point i'm looking at and i remember when trump was running for for president and one of the big thing was about him building a wall well i think that mexico should build a wall because now americans are taking over mexico <laughs> mexico city so um so that's what's going on but let's go ahead and take a look to see what's really going on with mexico so here's the article it says mexico city residents angered by influx of americans speaking english gentrifying area report 
what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to play the audio for you guys so you guys can listen to see what is going on. Speaking English. Gentrifying, Gentrifying area. area. Report. Report. Mexico, Mexico is home to 1.6 million, million Americans, Americans, according to the State, State Department. Department. An influx, An influx of, of Californians California and other Americans, Americans has made its way to Mexico City, City angering some locals, locals who say they are gentrifying the area, area according to a report. report. The Los Angeles Times report on Wednesday outlined how some Mexican locals are fed up with the growing number of Americans, many from California, moving to and visiting the country, which has contributed to a rise in rent and a shift from Spanish to English in some places. New to the city, working remotely, flyers popping up around Mexico City reportedly said, you're a effing plague and the locals effing hate you. Leave. The article outlines how Americans have brought a scent of new wave imperialism as taquerias and corner stores have slowly transformed into coffee shops and Pilates studios. English is also reportedly becoming more prevalent as more Americans are moving to and visiting Mexico City to take advantage of lower rent and the ability to stay in Mexico for six months without a visa. We are the only brown people, Fernando Bustos Goroz, the 38-year-old writer and university professor, told the Los Angeles Times. We're the only people speaking Spanish except the waiters. Bustos later posted a video on TikTok saying that the influx of Americans stinks of modern colonialism and nearly 2,000 people responded in agreement. Mexico is classist and racist, Bustos added. People with white skin are given preference. Now, if a local wants to go to a restaurant or a club, they don't just have to compete with rich, white Mexicans, but with foreigners too. The article also pointed to a social media post online where a young American said, do yourself a favor and remote work in Mexico City is truly magical. The tweet received many negative responses. Well, there you go. So that's what's going on. Um, the fact that a lot of the residents, they're kind of pissed off, you know, of the social class. And already they're fighting with, you know, the light-skinned Mexicans and now they're upset that foreigners are there. So they've kind of, you know, made a, a, a bad situation for everyone else that's there in Mexico, <clears throat> Mexico City. So, which I totally understand the whole, the whole sentiment, how they feel about the whole situation, you know, knowing that, you know, you have, you know, social issues. And now, you know, you just got more social issues on top of what you already had. But <clears throat> that's what's going on. And I wanted to break that down for you guys, for you guys, you know. Let you guys know about the new TSA technology as well as how Mexico is upset with Americans. But nonetheless, <clears throat> this is your boy, the Solo Traveler ORD. Thanks again for checking out the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out.